praise the Lord. God bless you guys. This is the day that the Lord has made. <clears throat> and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We honor the Lord for another opportunity to just to share in God's word. I pray that you will get your tablet, your notebook, and to get ready, jot down some notes. We want to share in the word of the Lord today, praying that it will bring inspiration and guidance and just encouragement to your life. Amen. Amen. As I was preparing this lesson, this song came up on my heart, and I just want to share it with you, portion of it with you, as we prepare to go into to lesson today. And today we're going to be talking about when God chooses to grow or increase your faith, when God chooses you to increase your faith. Amen. My God. Uh, there's a lot of things that goes into that. And there's a, when I was researching this, it really came to me that during this past year, right at uh, 13 months now, we're in into April of the year of 2021 of our Lord. Uh, just think about how many of us have fell by the wayside with the challenges that have came up on our lives. But on the other end, how many of us increase in strengthening our walk? Amen? So uh, with everything that we go through, remember this song. Let's worship the Lord with you. Like I say, I issue a disclaimer. This is not our music. I'm just using this to help us worship and get into the mood of receiving the word of God today. Amen? Amen. So go with us in, in this. And like I say, get your notes. And I know it's been a trying year for a lot of us. But remember, God got his hand on us. Amen? And the trials that we go through. We're not going through them alone. God is with us. And I also remember to just pray that God will encourage someone through your efforts of standing fast in the liberty. Amen? Standing fast in the gospel. And continue to maintain it. Amen? We never know who's watching us. We never know who our life will encourage. Amen? see us through. All right, we're going to join back in on that in a few minutes, but let's get into the word, okay? All right. All right, our scripture today, we're going to be coming from Romans, and also we're going to be interjecting uh, Luke and some more scriptures, amen? But I don't want to delay us going b before the Lord in this word today. So today we're going to be talking about when God chooses you. When God chooses to increase your faith, amen? When God is growing your faith, amen, God. And when I mean faith, I'm talking about the faith that being able to stand with whatever you're going through, with the challenges that you're facing. And, and you know, I'm not talking about talk faith. 
The Bible say the just shall live by faith. That means our life, and that don't mean you won't have moments of trepidation. What do I am saying? When it boils down to it, the bottom line, we're choosing to trust God. Amen? Amen. Let's go to the word of the Lord. Amen. I got my war battle today. I got my war Bible. Hey, glory to God. That The Bible that I've seen us through many battles. I thank the Lord for the word of the Lord. Amen. It's our source and our strength. Amen. Let's go to Romans chapter 12. And I'm going to read a few scriptures as we go into the word of the Lord today. When God is growing your faith. Ah, God. My God, uh, I'm reminded in Luke where the apostle uh, had a reply to Jesus when he told him, and I believe uh, uh, Luke chapter 17, uh, it was talking about the thing that they would encounter. And let's go there. Let's go there. Uh, let's look at Luke when Jesus told him in Luke chapter 1 Jesus said unto the disciples it is impossible it is impossible but offenses will come offenses will come and when you look at that word offense in the Greek it talks about stumbling block Stumbling blocks will come. We, and, and, and I want to take it from the standpoint of we're going to have occurrences in our life in this walk. Oh, God, help me today. That are stumbling blocks that, that come to challenge our faith. To come to challenge our steadfast. And I said on many occasions, this past year was one of those times, my God, that many people faith were challenged. But through our faith being challenged, our faith also was increased. Amen. Okay, now let's go switch back over to Romans chapter 12. Paul said, or the writer of Romans said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. Hmm. Hmm. You present your body, living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. So this past year, you may have continued to go to service. I knew our day, our door stayed open, even though we were going on a minimal attendance. And I know it's nothing for those of us that continue on to pat ourselves on the back. It's our reasonable service. It's our reasonable service. Even though there were challenges, it's our reasonable service. And thanks be to God that he saw us through this. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, now let's look at uh, uh, verse 2. But be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So during this time, some of, some of us was conformed to this world. We, uh, some of us fell prey to the patterns of not making that sacrifice to God. And it changed our mindset. It changed our attitude toward the things of God. But hey, all is not lost. God is still with us. And my God, and God is increasing our faith. Amen. My God. So how is this done? By the renewing of your mind. 
that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This is the verse I want us to hang our hat on today, verse 3. For the author say, For I say, through the grace given unto me, my God, he's not making a boast in something that he have achieved or he have this great faith or he have greater faith than any man that he, my God, that he just took his challenges head on and no moments of trepidation. But what he's saying, for I say this through the grace given unto me. Wow. To every man that is among you. What? Not to think not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Oh, my God. Because certain things didn't befall you. My God, don't think it was because of your goodness or how great you are. It was the mercies of God. My God. But to think soberly, according, listen to this, as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. My God. So God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. I believe one verse and say God have allotted. God have allotted to each man the measure of faith. So my God, so we know, we know those of us that's in Christendom Nobody started out with such great advantage. We all started out with that measure. And it's up to us to build upon that faith. Amen. And the Bible says in Romans 10, 17, that faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So we know that and we're going to increase our faith. The first thing have to happen is that we have to get to a place where we can receive the word of God because the Bible says that faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So we have to be in a place where we can hear the unadulterated word the word of the Lord and not only hear it, but give credence and give relevance to the word of God. God, the Bible says that I esteem your word back in Job more than my necessary food. Hey guys, during this time, the word is so important to our everyday life to our everyday choice making, to our everyday living. My God, we thank the Lord. And as we travel this journey of Christendom and, and walk this walk, we're going to meet many challenges. So we can't stay at that measure of faith. Our faith have to increase. And let me give you some reason, uh, some, you know, and I like to tie in natural occurrences to biblical uh, truth. And as I was studying this, I thought about the word and how the word is our source for increasing our faith. But not only that, that when I think about the word of God and faith, I think about faith as being that tree 
that tree, that tree that with that with uh, that has a great root system. And when I was going into the word, I thought about how that during certain storms and hurricane season, there are certain trees that seem to get toppled or blown over so quick. And I, as I began to research about hurricanes and wind and wind damage, and it talks about that there are certain trees that it takes like a category three or four or five and sustain wind of great force to even blow, blow these trees off their root system because of their root goes so deep that they may lose a few limbs and things like that but it's hard to pull them up from their root system. Oh God, can I preach today? My God, and that's the way I feel that God wanna help build and establish our life. Glory to God. We gonna have some wind. We gonna have some occurrences in our life. My God, when Jesus told the disciples, and like I said in Luke 17, that offenses will come. You're going to have stumbling block. But when those occurrences happen, my God, will it take you out? Will it take you down? Or will, or will you just lose a few branches, a few limbs? I call that pruning. And you still be able to maintain, Lord, help us today. My God, when God chooses to grow your faith, or when God is growing your faith, my God, I pray the power just to maintain. My God, thank God. And, and, and get this here, God. When I said earlier about we don't want to get to a place where we just talk faith, we want to be able to exhibit faith. And I tie that in to when I was studying about the force of wind that it takes to topple some tree. I thought about that. Look at this. Uh, uh, <laughs> God, uh, I had to go into uh, uh, my horticultural days and, and do some research. And one of the things that it talks about a tree have to have, a tree have to have. Okay, you just don't want a tree that's going to shoot up. Shoot up. My God. Ever you seen no tree that just shoot up? No trunk, Carla. Just shoot up. But the thing that it says about tree, when you have a good growing tree, that a tree root and a tree trunk is proportionate to its growth. My God. So you just don't want a tall, beautiful looking tree. Oh, it's 70, 80 feet tall, but yet and still it don't have the trunk of the root system to maintain or sustain its growth. And any time there is a, it don't have to be a hurricane or tornado. It just can be a strong wind, 45, 50 miles an hour, it blow it over. My God. And the root system is the main system that sustains 
your growth. So we want to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. And God, let me tell you something. That don't come just by us reading and hearing the word. It come by us reading and hearing the word and also facing challenges. Amen. My God, I was a, 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 a reading a few years ago when it talks about uh, 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 the wood that is used or the material that is used to make a Stradivarius violin. And they was talking to the man that that built or construct the Stradivarius violin. And he was saying that he uses the trees that he don't go in the middle of the forest and choose a tree. He chooses the one that are right on the front, right at the beginning, that have faith. When you're in the middle of the forest, you're not going to get the same amount of wind that the tree at the beginning of it received. Some of your, some of the wind that hit you is being blocked by the front line tree. So I'm saying today, there are front line saints. There are front line Christians that are taking the brunt of the challenges and yet and still are standing. The Bible say, and having done all, stand therefore with your loin girded about with truth. My God, I thank the Lord for our root system that is capable of sustaining our growth. My God. My God, I don't want every trial causes me to back up from my steadfastness. Amen. And I'm not saying in this walk you won't have moments of trepidation. Amen. So, but what I'm saying, your moments of strength outweigh your moments of weakness. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. My God. Like I said earlier, our growth or your growth should be in proportion to your root system. Therefore, it's able to maintain your growth. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, the Bible says in Hebrew that let a man take heed that he stand lest he fall. My God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Uh, like I said, I refer back to Roman chapter 12 and 3. But the author said, I say this through the grace of God. My God, the grace that is given unto me, Lord, have mercy. We're all here because of the grace of God. And we're all being kept because of the grace of God. My God. But when the moment or the time come when God chooses to increase our faith, 
when God chooses to grow our faith and challenges come, I do not want to be found wanting. Amen? My God. I'm, con I I'm reminded of Job chapter 1. When Satan was going to and fro on the earth, God asked him, have you considered my servant Job, my God, my God? So, but Satan replied was, yeah, I'm paraphrasing. I know what the scriptures say. Yeah, but you done put a hedge around him. So that let me know he have tried in the past to come after Job, but he knew God protection and a protection was upon him. So guys, I'm here to tell you that we're going to face challenges. We're going to face challenges. And, and get this here. How will you know personally where you stand in the Lord without challenges? Without challenges. Amen. My God, in the name of Jesus, sometimes we have grown without us really. Hey, have you ever been in a place where you, okay, hey, now last year or in the past, this would have knocked me off my stride. But now, it affected me, but not as long as it has in the past. That's growth, guys. That's growth. So don't be down on yourself if you haven't attained where you want to be. Don't stop growing, though, but celebrate the fact that this would have really knocked me for a loop in the past, but now I'm able to withstand. Amen? My God, glory to God. And, and another thing about your growth should be in proportion to your root system to help you maintain. Get this here. Everything grows. Everything grows within its own proportion. So what I'm saying as, and there are some trees that have roots that wrap around each other. They intertwine. And when I think about that, I think about where the words say a three core string and not easily broken. So, but what I'm saying is that as you don't want a, a, a hundred foot red oak from the Northwest with a small root system, you want because not only that, when storms or obstacles come, when that tree falls, it's not only going to be dangerous for itself, but it's surrounded. Amen. So what I'm saying, it behooves us to really, really get in a place where we can meet the challenges that God have allotted to come our way that we don't want 
the people that we witness to or minister to over the years, what did Paul say? Except I preach to others and I myself become a castaway. My God, my God, I don't want to preach and teach and exhibit faith. But when my life needed, I'm still struggling with the measure of faith at the beginning of stages. Amen. My God, glory to God. Lord, I thank you. And, and like I said earlier, hey, this is a journey. It's a journey. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Amen. So each day, each round, as the sound goes, each round goes higher and higher. But we're trusting God on every round. Amen. My God. Because we realize that, hey, like I said, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And there are going to be some days where we may fall short. And there are going to be some days where we may feel like that, my God, I want to throw in the towel. And one thing about that, you can't trust your feeling. Our feeling is associated with our flesh, the pickle. Sometimes they're up, sometimes they're down. That's why the Bible said, like I said earlier, that the just shall live by faith. My God. And my God, as we come to the close of another segment, I pray that you would encourage and enlighten. And I know uh, uh, I want to throw this point in that uh, our message has become 30 to 35 minutes, sometimes 40, sometimes we do too. But I say that to, I'm still battling the effects of COVID and uh, I'm still under treatment, but yet and still, I feel that God is increasing my faith during this time. And I pray your strength. I pray your strength. Some may notice by the pictures or the recording you see, I have lost a tremendous amount of weight. I think now I'm over 65, 70 pounds I have lost just from the beginning of the year. And some of it, hey, it's a blessing because I am, I am maintaining an a, a A1C level that could cause me in a few months to come off of uh the diabetic medicine that i'm taking so in one case <laughs> that's a good thing but like i say i'm still dealing with the after effect of the COVID that me and my wife uh went through in december of 2020 but yet and still i feel that god is using that this to increase my faith and get to here i pray that through the grace of god God will help me to meet the challenges. Amen? Amen. Let's get back to this, and I'm going to do a closing prayer. Amen? My God. Let's listen to some more. He's providing. He's providing every step of the way. Ah, glory. Like we may feel alone, but we know we're not alone. For the Bible says he will never leave us nor forsake us. My God. Ah, glory. My God. Once again, I thank you guys for tuning in. And just continue to pray for each other. Continue to pray for me. Continue to lift each other up. And Lord, I pray right now that you will strengthen 
every pastor, every member of the fivefold ministry, God, give us divine guidance, divine protection as we step up to the plate, as we, God, through your grace, meet every challenge. I pray right now for the keeping power and the saving grace. Until next time, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. Peace out.